Good morning, my name is Carol Cicero. I'm an attorney in Tampa, and today I'm gonna to read from the book, Hidden Figures, which is a wonderful story about real women. Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Christine Darden were good at math, really good. In 1943, the United States was at war, World War II. Dorothy Vaughn wanted to serve her country by working for the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, the government agency that designed airplanes. Having the best airplanes would help America win the war. Making airplanes fly faster and higher and safer meant doing lots of tests at the agency's Langley Laboratory in Hampton, Virginia. Tests meant numbers, numbers meant math, and math meant computers. Today we think of computers as machines, but in the 1940s, computers were actual people like Dorothy, Mary, Catherine, and Christine, and their job was to do math. Because Dorothy was black and a woman, some people thought it would be impossible for her to get a job as a computer. She lived in Virginia, a southern state where laws segregated or kept apart black people and white people. They could not eat in the same restaurants. They could not drink from the same water fountains. They could not use the same restrooms. They could not attend the same schools. They could not play on the same sports teams. They could not sit near each other in movie theaters. They could not marry someone of a different race. But Dorothy didn't think it was impossible. She was good at math, really good. She knew she was the right person for the job. She applied and the laboratory offered her a job as a computer. At work, blacks and whites were kept apart. The white computers worked in one building and Dorothy and the other black computers worked in a different building in their separate office. Even though they worked on the same kinds of assignments, the black and white computers used separate bathrooms and ate in separate lunchrooms. America won the war in 1945, but Dorothy stayed on the job, still trying to make airplanes faster and safer. By 1951, the Americans and Russians were competing to see who could build the best planes. That meant more experiments and more numbers, lots 